Alright guys, welcome back once again here with Juliana. Hello. Um, she's dropping me, I'm at the airport going to Vienna. Let's go inside. Welcome to the vlog guys, I'm here in Vienna, the city of love, city of art, music and museums and palaces, I don't know what not. This is my first time visiting Austria, Vienna. Here on the invitation of Erasmus Mundus Association. Erasmus Mundus is by far the best scholarship I've heard of and people availing that and they've invited me to their annual event. Um, I absolutely have no idea what to expect out of it but just go with the flow of this video. One second. So the time right now is 6.50, almost 7 a.m. in the morning. So this is day one of Erasmus Mundus Association's General Assembly event. So a lot of scholars from all over the world who were part of EMA, which is Erasmus Mundus Association. Clearly what I see on the brochures, there are a lot of other associations also, and the event is taking place in University of Vienna. somewhere where <coughs> children with disabilities need to know more about how they can receive a good quality education. Please take me with you. I will tell them some more about my school and I will inspire them with my personal stories. She's little but she wants, she wants to speak with them and I am, I am glad. No matter who she will become in the future but I'm trying to connect her with diverse people, with people from different, belonging to different <laughs> ethnic, linguistic groups, religions. So everything related to female, it's really sensitive, especially uh, about uh, education and work. Well, very power-packed speeches this morning from people who are making a real, real difference in our society. This is a lunchtime now. There are people from different nationalities who have come here just with one intention of how can we transform our living society. Just want to let you know that what kind of difference Erasmus Mundus program is creating into people's life and what this scholarship is doing to them personally. And for a lot of people I've seen that this is a very emotional thing because where they were and where they are right now, it's a personal journey for them. Ukraine. Russia. Ethiopia. Kazakhstan. Almaty. Belarus. Minsk. Uh, Indonesia. Spain. India. Mexico. Kenya. India. Germany. Philippines. Philippines. Nigeria. Turkey. Indonesia. Pakistan. Kolkata, India. From India. Indonesia. From India. Uh, Yasmin, I'm Egyptian. We're joined here by Pawan. He's a president of uh, Erasmus Mundus Association. Because of this guy, I'm here. He invited me. 30 seconds. How long are you in EMA? What words do you have basically for people about Erasmus Mundus? I've been in EMA for like 10 years now. This is my 10th year in uh, Erasmus Mundus Association. I think it's just a passion and love for the diversity, for the intercultural uh, development of yourself and also to see the world in a global perspective, to be a global citizen, to be a global volunteer. I think this has been my uh, strive forward to be in EMA and actually uh, in EMA and that's what is keeping me going forward. 
joined here by Mr. Adrian. Sir, it's an honor to meet you first of all and welcome to my channel. Mr. Adrian works in an international cooperation of students, Department in European Commission. Yes. Yeah. Right. What is the motivation behind the European Commission to spend so much money into into someone who's sitting on the other side of the globe? Well, it's it's the same rationale as we have for the way we try and invest in, in Europe's young people. We've been doing that for 30 years. We recognize it adds so much to a study experience if you have part of that experience in another country. So since 1987, we've had the Erasmus program in, in Europe, which has enabled Europeans to go to other countries. We have foreign relations, foreign policies with other countries, other regions, and education cooperation is a really important part of those right. relations. So we invest um, in student scholarships, but also in university partnerships to work together on, on curricula, for example, that involve Europeans on the one hand, and uh, students or universities from India, from Argentina, from Canada, from uh, yeah. South Africa on the other. <laughs> I'm not going to